D-list celebrities really are losing right now. Sis, we know you ain't got no money. And the pandemic is really exposing that. Now let's talk about it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. Girl, I've been so ready to talk about this. I don't know how long. Girl, I've been ready to drag this for a minute now. And I'm glad the conversation is here. And I'm glad the temperature is cool enough for us to dip into this water. So let's go ahead and get into it. So yesterday, this happened on a Monday. Um, JT from the City Girls responded to a tweet that was literally talking about um, folks in the club with no mask and how some influencers and celebrities be doing these hosting gigs and in the club with no mask on during the pandemic and it doesn't seem like they care. Um, and this girl, Evelyn, she mentioned it on Twitter. She mentioned a couple of celebrities, but she didn't say JT's name. And JT got really pressed about it and responded to her and was just like, girl, we out here like trying to get the coin. Like we out here trying to make this bread and stuff like to provide for our families and all that. So, you know, y'all to say the same stuff when um, folks were like the, the essential workers, like, we, like she compared herself to an essential worker. Like she compared herself to a central worker like, as a server, a waitress out here being forced to work during a pandemic two times by the law and also by capitalism because I need to make some money to be able to pay my bills. And JT just compared herself to that. And a lot of folks was like, since you can't be serious, so you had these other D and Z list celebrities come and offer their, their critique on it. You had light skin Keisha, who ain't even light skin, so you better believe that. Come out and say that everybody out here counting folks' pockets. When y'all whole brand is uh, letting us know that y'all have money and what y'all pockets look like. There are videos of all of y'all throwing money out in the club out of nowhere. And before you say, oh, at least it's giving the strippers something, at least it's paying for the strippers. These, you think these folks out here giving money to the strippers just because they want to feed them and take care of them? A lot of them just want to appear that they making this money. It's the illusion that I am rich and I have plenty of money. But I know for a fact, y'all ain't got the money y'all claim to have. Because if y'all were coined, you wouldn't be out here hosting no club. You wouldn't be at no club, making no club appearance in the middle of a pandemic doing Atlanta Pride. City girls are signed up to host or do something, a club appearance in Atlanta, I think the beginning of uh, September, doing Atlanta Pride. That lets me know that y'all ain't got the coin that y'all so brag about all the time. Like y'all brag and y'all throw it up in our faces all the time. Y'all wearing three, four, six, seven, ten thousand dollar bags. Y'all got these twenty thousand dollar pair of shoes, all these things like y'all just want to. Y'all forced it in our face all the time. Like y'all whole brand is that y'all rich. That's it. And now that you got a couple of things happening right now at the same time, folks are really not feeling capitalism right now. Like, like even folks who would like, oh, capitalism not a thing, are really starting to understand, like, hey girl. This shit really got me working to provide for myself in the middle of a pandemic, putting myself in danger just to make money. Like, just to be able to pay bills when the government can sit up here and pay me to stay at home so I can stay safe, so we can stop spreading this virus to everybody else. Like other countries are doing. Like, folks are really like, you know what, hey, this ain't making no sense. And you got this thing where celebrities are not reading the room. They've not, I've been saying this when you had, um, what's the name, girlfriend gave her a, a G-Wagon in the beginning of the pandemic and folks out getting laid off from work. Folks out here struggling to get the, the, the unemployment they were supposed to be, they were promised to get that's been cut off. Like, folks have been struggling prior to this pandemic and they're struggling even more during this pandemic. And y'all response is, oh girl, you know, come to the club, spend your money. The only reason why these folks are going to, to this club is to get their minds off their trash ass lives of living on the boot of capitalism. That's the only reason why. And y'all honestly need these working class folks to come to these events to make y'all money. Light Skin Keisha, Mulatto, uh, who else? City Girls, JT, y'all ain't making money just to be making money. Y'all making money because working class folks are consuming y'all stuff. That's it. That's it. Y'all have, y'all literally 
Y'all whole brand is just throwing money and I got more money than all of y'all. Now that that's being taken away, we starting to see the veil is being lifted that how is y'all out here saying that y'all got all this boss coin, all of this, but y'all out here paddling around to do club appearances for a couple thousand dollars. Let me tell you, girl, I'm smart when it comes to math and recognizing bullshit. There is only so much money that a club in Atlanta can make from y'all. There's only so much money. The fact that they had enough money in their budget to pay y'all to come to Atlanta to get folks to come and spend money lets me know that y'all booking shit ain't as high as y'all think it is. It lets me know that y'all ain't out here getting 200000 per person to be in here. Because I, I guarantee no club in Atlanta, especially during Atlanta Pride, is not paying y'all that much. I guarantee y'all probably got probably 100 together, if that. And we starting to see that y'all ain't out here making the money y'all claim to make. It's just, like, I'm like, girl, how y'all out here talking about some, you don't work a job, you work a job, then you working a job in the middle of the pandemic. It's, it's not, the math ain't mathing. It's just not adding up. And instead of y'all just being real, now y'all want to sit here and say, well, I'm out here providing for five, five, five grown folks. That's what um, Big Lotto was saying. Girl, I was actually feeling you, but looking at you being upset at this girl on Twitter for calling y'all out, and now you want to put a hit out on her because she made some stuff. Now, it was talking about protecting black women. And you was putting Breonna Taylor all in your music video. Now, you out here putting um, hits out on black women. What's not clicking? Are we still protecting black women? Or are we only protecting black women? Hashtag when it's beneficial for us when we making money off of it. When we commercializing and monetizing it. Because that's what a lot of y'all are doing. That's, and I'm, I'm going to get to that too in another video. Of this whole situation we're going on Breonna Khan and Breonna and Vanity Fair. All of that. Y'all want folks to consume so y'all can continue to hoard wealth. That's all y'all want to do. You're not fooling me. I know y'all ain't got the coin. Big Lotto, she, I don't know if that was her or Dream Doll or what other light-skinned wannabe rapper this week that's out here throwing money. Just throwing money. Like, I got an announcement. I'm throwing money. Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that? Why do y'all do that? Like, you can look at several other folks other folks who are in the same industry as y'all and they didn't while they was doing that they were not making that much money and now that they're making that much money they don't even do that type of stuff even y'all favorite capitalist jay-z says that y'all favorite capitalist jay-z be giving y'all advice all the time and y'all don't be taking it but y'all still out here throwing money in the club because it looks cute and you want us to let us know that you got more money than us like you got it but it's not making any sense for you to have all this money and yet, you out here getting paid a couple of stats to go make an appearance. So, I don't think it's nothing wrong for the City Girls to go and host Atlanta Pride. I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. I think, honestly, a lot of artists should go, especially like Doja Cat, your City Girls. I think y'all should pride yourselves in going to Atlanta Pride and giving us a one-two. Make y'all need to create an environment for us to come out and feel comfortable supporting y'all and listen to y'all music because a lot of us can't go to the straight clubs because the outfits we wearing, the straight the, the club bouncers are telling us not to come in with that gay shit. They telling us that. So maybe y'all need to do that. But I know y'all don't care about doing that for the community, for the culture, because y'all don't care about culture, because y'all have called out y'all have been called out on homophobia so many times and have not really apologized for it. Like it just is what it is. Period. Whatever it is. So I, like, and I can still get slick homophobic vibes from JT. And I think Young Mi Miami has definitely did a little bit of work, but I still, I still see y'all as, you know, girl, I'm just getting corn off y'all. Like, I, like this, I see y'all trying to do this rebranding now. I see y'all trying to do this rebranding and and trying to be more for the queers and for the gays because y'all recognize this is y'all. These are the folks out here spending money for y'all. These are the folks out here risking themselves going into a pandemic in a club to see y'all because they love y'all so much. And y'all need to provide that love back. And this all I'm giving y'all in this video ain't nothing but love. Ain't nothing but love because I love the City Girls. I actually bumped y'all last album. And back to, um, who was there? I think that was um, Mulatto who said, Girl, first of all, since we got so many critiques with you, which even your name, and I wish you would change it because... You ain't giving, you and Light Skin Keisha ain't doing any type of stuff for the movement on um, colorism by naming y'all say some stuff that is dog derogatory. Like, Light Skin Keisha done changed her, 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 how she arrived at Light Skin Keisha so many times, it ain't making skin, making no sense. It ain't making no skins either. Um, and then you got my lot, like, girl, we, we ain't nobody gonna be calling you, we not calling you, I'm gonna give you Big Lotta, that's it. Or the, the derogatory name rapper, that's what we gonna call you. Rebrand. 
That's what you, instead of throwing money on the floor, you need to be reinvesting in that and getting your brand together, girl. While you over here had to wait a whole year to get a, a, a song that's been out for almost a year on the top 100. And then you had a, a celebration party at a crab shack like sis. And ain't nothing wrong with it. But y'all ain't out here got the money that y'all claim to have. Y'all just don't. And that's okay. I keep saying that. A year ago, I was dragging Trina for the very same thing while she was around here trying to get the girls together. And she got a smoke detector going off in the background. Like, that's just it is what it is. I wish y'all would just be honest and say it because we all struggling, girl. We all trying to monitor our coins. We all trying to make sure that we, we doing enough to be able to pay our bills. But to compare yourself to an essential worker who is out here getting minimum, below minimum wage and making less than probably like two or three hundred dollars during a pandemic and you out here wearing alleged $200,000 change and $50,000 change and stuff and you out in the club throwing money and, and doing all this, like, you are not an essential worker, girl. We, we need food. We don't need entertainment. The only reason why we're interested in entertainment is because this virus and stuff is so real and this economic stuff is so real that we need something to escape from it. We need to be able to escape from our reality. And the fact is, y'all are suffering because y'all ain't able to make the money in this reality. That's the true reality. That y'all ain't making the money that y'all claim y'all were. Y'all can't pretend anymore. That y'all can't pretend anymore. So it's give it, give it up, delicious. Y'all ain't got that much money. And it's okay to make you a bad person or anything. But to compare yourself to an essential worker makes absolutely no sense at all, JT. It makes absolutely no sense at all for you to compare yourself to an essential worker. Like, you got to be kidding me. Y'all, like, who do y'all think is going to the club and paying? Like, I just got to read and study or something, an article saying, like, the media, like, only 1.7% of uh, black households make $100,000 a year. Who the hell do you think is going to these clubs and saying, you think it's supposed to make it seven to $800,000 a year? You think these folks making two hundred thousand dollars going to see you? No, ma'am. It's folks that's probably scamming to appear like they make this money. It's probably a couple of them making fifty or sixty, but I guarantee there's a lot of folks under there making under thirty thousand dollars, under forty thousand dollars, and want to escape just briefly the boot that is capitalism on these folks' neck. That's the only reason why some folks enjoy entertainment. It's to escape this reality that they are living in just for a moment. And yes, hosting club appearances and doing club things and stuff during the pandemic is dangerous. It is dangerous. Period. There's no other way to say it. Like, I've had to cancel a couple of events and I have to stop events because I'm not going to invite folks to, to do stuff and put them in danger just so I can make a coin off of it. There's other ways to do it. But y'all so interested in this quick rich scheme and making money real quick so you can continue to pretend like you got money when you don't. It's disgusting. And you know what? It ain't just the female rappers who've been dragged about it yesterday. It's also the male rappers too. The other ones out here hungry and trying to find ways to make it too. All of them getting exposed. All these celebrities are getting exposed. And do you know the only reason why we entered this conversation yesterday is because they were pressed about calling, being called D-list folks. D-list celebrities. In the end... Y'all are D-list. Y'all are D-list. Megan Stein ain't a host no club appearances. And honestly, if this is how it's supposed to go, and this is the real shade. You're supposed to be doing club appearances in the beginning of your career. You ain't supposed to be out here uh, two whatever years into your career of getting an attention and then you didn't went back to doing club appearances. Club appearances are supposed to be the beginning. It's supposed to be so expensive to book you that it makes no sense to do a club appearance. It makes sense to do a concert. You see what I mean? See, see what I mean? When you think about A-list celebrities, they ain't doing no, no, no club appearances. They ain't doing no appearances unless it's for these billionaires overseas like Mariah Carey and Beyonce have done and, and all these other artists have done where these princes in, in, in the Saudi Arabia and all these folks be paying these folks to perform with, and they for some coin because they can pay their dancers and pay all that. It's for some true coin. Not these little five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars that y'all made. Not these little ten thousand dollars that y'all made. And you know what? The conversation really should be dragging the industry and how much they are preying off of artists like uh, Big Lotto, City Girls, uh, all these folks. Because it makes no sense for y'all to be out here getting number ones and doing all this and, and, and putting all this music out. And yeah, y'all out here got to host club appearances to make a little change on the side. So. 
I am here for the conversation of dragging these are um these companies who signed them and they're out here fucking that coin up. Because I know at the end of the day, City Girls, I know that y'all are slightly pressed that um WAP went number one and they had a bigger budget than Pussy Talk. And honestly, Pussy Talk to me was to me a better song. It was a cute song. It should have did a lot of stuff, but it didn't. I think y'all are pressed a little bit at QC for um, how they have been with their art or other artists, how they've been with Cardi B versus they've been with Chua. Now, I'm not trying to stir up no division, but I can see it. Like, girl, look, like y'all wanted them this song to go number one. Y'all wanted it to, and it should have. It was a cute song. It was a cute song, but taking it out on us, the consumers, the folks who are out here making sure that you continue to provide, provide for your families and continue to pretend like you got plenty of riches and stuff, don't take it out on us. Y'all need to be reading, negotiating y'all contracts and talking to the folks who y'all signed with and figure out what's going on. Because I know y'all contracts are probably still bogus. I know that stuff is still going on in the industry. That's why a lot of folks ain't interested in signing with no label because they know that these folks, even the management companies, they are taking y'all coin, girl. They taking y'all coin. Like, yeah, you have made $600,000, but you got to pay all of this and this percentage is like 60%. That it ain't even $600,000 no more. Trust me. Trust me. Period. Um, so, JT, you are not an essential worker. Going and hosting a club is not essential work. Do not disrespect essential workers that are here working to provide in the middle of a pandemic making way less than y'all. Like, you are not an essential worker, and if you had your coins stacked right and you was managing your money correctly, you wouldn't be out here in the middle of a pandemic getting a couple of thousand dollars to host no club gigs. You would be sitting pretty for a couple of months while this pandemic was doing what it was supposed to do and, and getting your stuff together. But y'all got to work just like us. So all of us, honestly, are a slave to capitalism, and we should be talking about that. Not out here critiquing folks that's out here calling it what it is. So let's talk about that. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments, and I'll talk to you later on tonight. Bye.